Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, May 4th. So today is National Star Wars Day. May 4th be with you. <laughs> Anyways, I made a uh, lovey and I wanted to come in here and show it because I was talking. Whoops, I just knocked some stuff over. I was talking about making some of the loveys the other day with stuffed animals and I had a few people question me about that so I wanted to share it but the original pattern that I followed is from Zelda or she goes by Z most of the time at Zelda um NRJ3 I think <laughs> I can't remember exactly but I will link it below her video and her channel um she started making them and then uh, I know Rose from Rose Likes Crochet makes a ton of them and other people have been making them so when I was at my uh, it's like a thrift store slash antique store recently I bought like 12 I think um TY babies and then I don't think this is a TY baby this one but it's uh Donatello from the Ninja Turtles it's kind of it's like the same size as the TY baby the new ones um and what you do is you get a uh hair tie those stretchy just elastic ties I got a 10 pack at Dollar Tree for a dollar and then you crochet around them so then you take your stuffed animal or whatever <laughs> and you just put the hair tie over its head and then it becomes a lovey <laughs> so it's a blanket I don't have my my hands woven in but it's like a little lovey with the little body underneath it so that a kid can um, you know if someone buys it for it the kid can have the lovey and snuggle up with it and sleep with it and then they can take it off to either play with the toy or also the parent can take it off and wash this if it gets dirty and uh, then the toy is fine but this is a really cool idea so there it is um, before it's stretched out Jesse's got the sink on and then there it is with it on there so for this one I just took his colors and I used red heart spring green right here <laughs> and uh, for the purple down here I used red heart orchid big old giant jumbo skein of it and I did um, let's see here you start with the row and then I did 10 so on the ninth one I switched to purple and did a row of it and then I finished it with the 10th the row in green you can make it any size you want really but uh, I just need to weave in my ends I got two here or three here and then the one from attaching the yarn and this one will be done I'm excited about it, it took really um, not long at all because I mean it's just 10 rows of granny stitch <laughs> and um yeah you can make it way bigger if you wanted or add a cute border i, was, I think plain is just fine <laughs> but i still got a whole bag over there with other little animals i know i got like um a unicorn and i got like a cheetah one and some other ones giraffes um i'm gonna make them up and probably put them in my bag over here for future craft shows or future etsy update whatever <laughs> whichever comes first I think they're really cute, and I know Rose sells them a lot, so I think they're popular. I think a lot of parents like them for their smaller kids. So, uh, yeah, so there's my first one. It's Donatello, the Ninja Turtle. He's got his little long staff or whatever they're called. <laughs> and uh, one down, quite a few more to go. <laughs> I'm going to definitely keep my eyes peeled for these little toys. Um, every now and then they're at that, that thrift store, and they were like, uh, I think, a dollar and a fifty each. So that's way cheaper than in-store. And uh, I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled for them and grab them up anytime I can find them cheap just to make little lovies with to uh, make it up. <laughs> but I will link Zelda's tutorial down below. It's a video tutorial, but it's super simple. Once you make it, I'm sure you can memorize it and make it a million more without even thinking about it. <laughs> and uh, so definitely check out Zelda's channel and that video. And let me know if you make any. And if you've already made some, let me know. Feel free to share photos in the Facebook group, which is also linked below. And we'd all love to see them. I know we would. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.